Hey everybody, it's Maddie from Hempitexture here and we're at a really cool job site right here in Sun Valley, Idaho. This job site is using a pretty interesting combination of building materials. We're using hemp wool insulation in a flash and bat insulation strategy. Okay, so what is flash and bat? Well, flash and bat is when you flash the outside of your OSB or your shear panel with a closed cell spray foam and then you put a bat insulation on top of it. Okay, I know what probably a lot of you are thinking here, closed cell spray foam, Maddie, not a sustainable material. Well, hey, here's the deal. Hempitecture works in tons of different climates. We serve projects across the United States and different climate zones have different R value criteria. And also sometimes builders, they just prefer spray foam. So in these instances, we try and help our clients offset their carbon footprint while maximizing thermal performance with closed cell spray foam and putting hemp wool insulation right on top of it. Okay, so we got a two by six wall assembly here. Now the spray foam contractor, they've already come in and they've sprayed two to three inches of closed cell spray foam, which is gonna give you actually a really nice R value. And then the hemp wool R13 bat is getting layered right on top of that closed cell spray foam. All right, so one of the ways that we really experience comfort in a home isn't just temperature, it isn't just humidity, it's also sound. Hemp wool is a great sound attenuating material. So when we put this material on top of closed cell spray foam, we're really gonna be able to isolate sound transmission. That sound isn't gonna come in from the street into your space, making your space more comfortable and enjoyable. All right, let's also talk about the order of operations that happen in a building project. Now, you might be thinking, hey, I have spray foam and bat insulation in the same wall. That's two mobilizations of our contractors. Well, actually, you're gonna mobilize your contractors twice anyway, because you're not gonna put spray foam in your partition wall. So you're gonna have a bat contractor and you're gonna have a spray foam contractor. This actually allows for a more streamlined approach to your building process and project while also giving your electricians, your plumbers, the time to rough in their wires, their pipes, whatever it may be in the wall before the hemp wool gets installed. So this is also adding up to an efficient building program. Now, speaking of efficiency, hemp wool, it comes in a lot of different sizes. We have two inch, three and a half inch, five and a half inch, even seven and a half inch. And hemp wool can always be layered to get your desired R value, depending on the thickness or depth available in your wall. As I mentioned before, in this wall assembly, we have that five and a half inch thick wall. So we got that two inches of closed cell spray foam with a three and a half inch bat. Now, hemp wool, it can compress. So while spray foam might be a little bit irregular, a little bit wavy, hemp wool can be placed right on top of it to really allow a seamless installation of the project itself. Okay, I know I'm gonna get some flack for this in the comments below. Of course, spray foam, it does have a carbon footprint and our products are high performing and carbon negative. But hey, like we said before, some contractors, they wanna use spray foam. Sometimes spray foam, it has to be used in certain climate zones. And we're not endorsing spray foam. What we're here trying to point out is that you can offset the carbon footprint of a spray foam project by using a bio-based product like hemp wool. With hemp wool being carbon negative and closed cell spray foam being carbon positive, you're gonna offset that carbon emissions from the spray foam and store that in the insulation itself. So then you're ending up with a project that you can feel good about because at the end of the day, it's still sustainable and it's gonna be high performing from an operational standpoint. Less heating and cooling bills, keeping you and your family cool and comfortable. All right guys, one of the last points that I wanna bring up here today is the health advantage of bio-based materials like hemp wool. Now, spray foam, it's a material that's generally made from petrochemical polymers that are sprayed into your wall cavity. By isolating that spray foam to the outside and lining your home with hemp wool, you're keeping that healthy, high-performing, sustainable material on the inside. You're lining your home with a material that you and your family can feel good about.